Good evening, I'm Alex Dierkman. It likely won't be until Tuesday morning that the Bartholomew County Coroner releases the results of autopsies conducted on four people shot dead in the small town of Waynesville over the weekend. As WTIU Stan Dostrepsky reports, relatives of one of the victims spoke to the media Monday. Thomas Smith's sisters remember him as an athlete and a former Marine who was trying to overcome what they would only call mistakes. Smith is one of four people killed inside a stone house in southern Bartholomew County. By Monday, police had barricaded that area and the town was overrun by news trucks, reporters and photographers. Still, authorities hadn't given much information to the families of the victims, so Tracy Smith and Cindy Rickman, who'd driven 12 hours from North Carolina, were left to remember their brother as someone big-hearted. He would help the kids around the neighborhood. He would take them fishing. Kids that's never been fishing before in their lives. He would he'd take them fishing. fishing poles, fix their lures. Yeah. I mean, he would just, and he'd give them to them. And yeah. it wasn't like, oh, you can use this for the class and then give it back. It was, okay, let's have a class. Okay, that's yours to take home. And or else he would just leave the fishing pole on their front porch. And, hmm. you know, they, they had no clue where it came from, but hmm. they kind of knew where it came from, you and know. County Coroner Larry Fisher says he and Sheriff Mark Gorbett will host a 10 a.m. news conference Tuesday offering more details. Fisher confirms the four victims were shot to death but couldn't yet tell with what kind of weapon or ammunition. Police on the scene Monday had no comment on the case. For WTIU News, I'm Stan Jastrzewski. Governor Mike Pence signed a controversial piece of legislation that eliminates all at-large seats on the Indianapolis City County Council this weekend. Democrats hold four at-large seats, giving them a 15 to 14 majority. Under the new law, those at-large seats will be eliminated at the end of their terms. If Republicans retain their seats, they will then hold the majority. Governor Mike Pence says he knows the law is divisive, but he signed the legislation because it gives the mayor more authority over the budget, a provision the governor says will encourage economic development. A former Monroe County auditor faces seven felony charges for allegedly making personal purchases on her county-issued credit card. Charges were filed Monday against Amy Gerstman. Court documents indicate Gerstman used taxpayer money to buy clothing, airline tickets, and hotel expenses for a personal trip to Key West, Florida. And Indianapolis Public Schools briefly halted online I-STEP testing Monday morning after a new network issue disrupt disrupted the exams. Other disruptions occurred in late April. At this time, 42 schools are 90 percent through testing, but others have 30 to 40 percent left to go. Members of the State Board of Education have called the disruptions disastrous. And here's a look at the weather. Tonight will be partly cloudy with lows in the upper 40s. And much warmer weather tomorrow, the high will be 80 degrees. And the low tomorrow night will be in the lower 60s. And here's a look at the five-day forecast. A chance of thunderstorms beginning on Wednesday, on Wednesday and will continue into the weekend. For WTIU News, I'm Alex Dierkman.